Hey you guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be continuing Project 996 by checking out the air boxes, the condensers and radiators on the front of the car. Let's go check it out. So it's a gorgeous weekend here in the Twin Cities. Um, it's hot, it's great for being outside, being inside a garage, maybe not quite so much. It's pretty stifling in here. Uh, but since we took the front bumper off the other day, I'm gonna get the car up, I'm gonna take off the air boxes, I'm gonna check out the front of the car, the condenser at the front, and then I think behind that is the radiator, just a few screws to get it loose. Um, and I'm gonna see if there's any damage. There's bound to be some debris in there that needs vacuuming out, um, but whether or not any of the fins are damaged and we need to replace those items is up for debate. I'm guessing not, but I just wanna check it out. So uh, as ever, thank you to Darren Fister at FD Motorsports and LA Dismantlers uh, for all the support in making this project happen. Um, we actually just compiled a master list of parts and uh, seeing if uh, they're in stock over in uh, LA Dismantlers. So pretty excited to get that bundle over. Uh, and so get some of the other things working on the car. And then the mufflers that we took off the car the other day, which I don't know if you can see, they're behind me there. Uh, they will be getting boxed up this afternoon and uh, sent over to FD Motorsports. So it's exciting times. The project is gaining momentum. All right, let's get on with the job and uh, get wrenching. Okay, so here are the air boxes on the front of the car. And then just inside there, you can see the condensers on the front and uh, then the radiators are behind that, I believe. Uh, in order to get the airbox off, we've just got a handful of T30 screws. There's one in a little bit of an awkward position under there. One, two on the side, and then I think there might be one or two underneath. Um, we've got another one here, another one here. So just a few screws to take off, and then that should come off. I mean, looking in there already, you can see there is some debris. Not a whole load, actually, which is good. I've done this once before, and uh, a friend of mine found a dead bird <laughs> that had got sucked up into here. Um, here's the passenger side. You can see here, this is the, um, the temperature sensor uh, that sits mounted inside the front, of <clears throat> the front of the bumper. Now, we may need to change these air boxes over, actually, so that they better fit the turbo front bumper that we have. They don't quite align up with the front grille. Uh, so we're not getting maximum airflow, but they're good enough for now. Uh, so let's get them off and uh, see what the radiators and the condensers look like. So here's the front of the condenser. Um, it doesn't look like it's in too bad condition. You can see definitely though, that uh, this is where um, the condenser gets the most exposure to the outside elements. As you see, a number of the fins have been sort of pushed out of shape, where up here towards the top, they're all still perfectly straight. Um, you can see that, you know, crap and crud kind of gets anywhere. So I'm gonna get the brush in there. I'm gonna get the, uh, the vacuum cleaner in there, get that cleaned out. Um, I can actually take this front piece off. It sort of slots in here. And then I've got a couple of bolts here. I think they're 10 millimeter bolts that will allow me to take this piece off. Um, but then they're also connected here. Um, so I don't think I wanna play with there in the fluids. I'm gonna leave them as they are. Um, but at the very least, I can get the crud out from the side. Uh, but they look like they're in pretty good condition. I don't think these are gonna to need to be replaced. We'll see what the other side looks like, but for now, uh, I'm quite happy with how they look. And 
And then of course, here's the crud that fell out on the floor, leaves and nothing, uh, no dead animals, thankfully. And then there's the inside of the panels there. So get the vacuum cleaner out, get all that stuff up, and then we'll move on. So guys, that's it, just a quick video today. Um, looking at the, uh, the condenser and the radiators without taking them apart further, they look just fine. Uh, you can just about pry open the condenser from the front of the, uh, the, the unit behind it to see if there's any junk that falls out, and there wasn't. Um, you can see that there is some wear. This has got you know 150,000 plus miles on the car, so driving it around without any protection on the front, without the grills that you see on some of the other cars, uh, you're bound to see this kind of wear. So nothing surprising, no leaks that uh, I can see. So no major issues, pretty happy, nice and clean. I'm gonna put them back together now and then uh, on to the next job. Uh, thanks again for all your continued uh, support and comments. Pat, Steve and I will be getting together again later this week to do a more major job. We're actually gonna be dropping the transmission itself, uh, taking it out of the car fully. We may also be dropping the engine at the same time. So make sure you tune in for that episode. That one's gonna be really interesting to see. And uh, as some of you noted on the previous video, uh, yes, I will be making tea for uh, Pat and Steve and uh, holding the camera up and the light so they can see. Maybe I'll get my hands dirty this time. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for your continued support. Catch you in another video or a podcast soon. Tell your friends, Project 996, Auto Amateur, all that good stuff. See you now, bye.